Unlock the secrets of the ancient past. Discover the great oxidation event that changed the world forever. From the emergence of photosynthetic organisms to the impact on early forms of life and the evolution of complex organisms, this event was a pivotal turning point in the history of the Earth. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take a journey back in time to a world before the emergence of oxygen. Imagine a planet where the sky is filled with methane and ammonia instead of the life-sustaining gas we rely on. But 2.4 billion years ago, something changed, and the world we know today was born. Join us as we uncover the story of the Great Oxidation Event, the event that changed the course of Earth's history forever. Imagine a world without oxygen, where only the hardiest creatures could survive. Suddenly, a dramatic change occurs and oxygen floods the atmosphere, forever altering the fate of life on Earth. This period in our planet's early history was a pivotal moment, marking the rise and fall of entire species and paving the way for the evolution of new forms of life. It was a time of mass extinction for anaerobic organisms, but also a time of opportunity for those who could adapt to the new conditions. It's a fascinating chapter in Earth's story, one that ultimately led to the emergence of complex, oxygen-dependent organisms like ourselves. Understanding this critical juncture in the planet's history can offer valuable insights into how life evolves and adapts to changing environments. The Great Oxidation Event is a pivotal moment in the history of our planet that occurred around 2.4 billion years ago. This event marked a turning point in the evolution of our planet, shaping the course of life on Earth as we know it today. But what exactly caused this dramatic shift and why is it considered so important? The answer lies in the emergence of a revolutionary type of organism, photosynthetic cyanobacteria. These ancient microorganisms were able to harness the power of the sun and convert it into chemical energy through a process called photosynthesis. They were the first organisms on Earth to produce oxygen as a byproduct of this process. This oxygen accumulated in the atmosphere and oceans, leading to a dramatic increase in the levels of oxygen in the environment. This event marked a turning point in the history of our planet as it paved the way for the evolution of new forms of life. The increase of oxygen levels in the atmosphere allowed for the emergence of new organisms, such as oxygen-dependent animals and plants, which would go on to shape the world as we know it today. The Great Oxidation Event also had a profound impact on the environment. The increase in oxygen levels led to the formation of a protective ozone layer, which shielded the planet from harmful UV radiation. Additionally, it also led to the formation of new minerals, such as iron oxides and silica, which would later become the building blocks of our planet. Before this event, the atmosphere of Earth was vastly different than it is today. Instead of the mix of gases that we currently have, it was primarily composed of methane, ammonia, and other gases that are toxic to most forms of life as we know it. Oxygen was almost non-existent, but as time passed, a group of microorganisms known as cyanobacteria began to thrive and proliferate. These tiny organisms were capable of performing photosynthesis, a process that produces oxygen as a byproduct. As the cyanobacteria spread and produced more and more oxygen, the levels of this gas in the atmosphere began to rise. At first, the increase was gradual and slow, but over time, the accumulation of oxygen began to accelerate. This was the beginning of a long and slow process that would ultimately lead to a tipping point where the atmosphere would become permanently oxygenated. This great oxidation event was a turning point in the history of life on Earth. It was the catalyst that allowed for the evolution of complex life forms, including plants and animals, and ultimately, humans. Without this event, the world as we know it today would be a vastly different place. The oxygen that we breathe, the plants that we eat, and the animals that we share this planet with are all products of this great oxidation event. It is a reminder of the power of nature and the role that microorganisms play in shaping our world. But the effects of the Great Oxidation Event were not limited to the atmosphere. As oxygen levels increased, it began to react with other elements in the environment, leading to changes in ocean chemistry and the formation of new minerals. 
This would have a profound impact on the early forms of life that existed at the time, driving the evolution of new organisms and shaping the diversity of life on Earth today. However, there are some theories related to this. Let's take a look at them. The duration of the Great Oxidation Event is still a topic of debate among scientists, with estimates ranging from hundreds of millions to a few billion years. But regardless of the exact timeline, the event had a profound and lasting impact on our planet and its inhabitants. It paved the way for the emergence of complex life forms and set the stage for the world as we know it today. But before moving forward, let's take a look at some important theories regarding the Great Oxidation Event. Preston Cloud originally proposed that the first cyanobacteria had evolved the ability to produce oxygen through photosynthesis, but had not yet evolved the enzymes to survive in an oxygen-rich environment. He suggested that these early cyanobacteria were protected from their own toxic waste by the high levels of reduced iron in the ocean, which quickly removed the oxygen. However, improved dating of ancient rock formations challenged this theory and showed that the GOE likely took place over millions of years, rather than a sudden event. More recent discoveries revealed that some bacteria closely related to cyanobacteria never had photosynthetic capability, but instead may have acquired this ability later through genetic transfer. This pushes back the estimated time for the evolution of oxygen-producing photosynthesis to around 2.5 billion years ago, narrowing the gap between this evolution and the appearance of significant levels of atmospheric oxygen. Nutrient Famines One possible explanation for the delay in the oxygenation of the atmosphere following the evolution of oxygen-producing photosynthesis is the presence of various nutrient famines on the young Earth. These famines, specifically a lack of vital nutrients such as iron, nitrogen, and phosphorus, could have slowed but not entirely prevented a cyanobacteria population explosion and rapid oxygenation. Despite this, the early cyanobacteria may have still been able to thrive, but at a slower rate, nickel famine. Another theory suggests that the oxygenation of the atmosphere may have been delayed due to a nickel famine experienced by early chemosynthetic organisms. These organisms likely produced methane, which acts as a trap for molecular oxygen. However, modern methanogens require nickel as an enzyme cofactor. As the Earth's crust cooled and the supply of volcanic nickel dwindled, oxygen-producing algae began to outperform methane producers, and the oxygen percentage of the atmosphere steadily increased. Increasing Flux one hypothesis argues that the great oxygenation event was the immediate result of photosynthesis. However, the majority of scientists suggest that a long-term increase of oxygen is more likely. Studies show possibilities of long-term increase of carbon burial, but conclusions are indecisive. Decreasing sink in contrast to the increasing flux hypothesis, there are also several hypotheses that attempt to use the decrease of sinks to explain the GOE. One theory suggests the composition of the volatiles from organic gases was more oxidized. Another theory suggests that the decrease of metamorphic gases and the serpentinization is the main key of the GOE. Scientists have realized that hydrogen would escape into space through a process called methane photolysis, in which methane decomposes under the action of ultraviolet light in the upper atmosphere and releases its hydrogen. This process of hydrogen escape required the generation of methane by methanogens so that methanogens actually helped create the conditions necessary for the oxidation of the atmosphere. Tectonic Trigger The oxygen increase may have also had to await tectonically driven changes in the Earth, including the appearance of shelf seas where reduced organic carbon could reach the sediments and be buried. The newly produced oxygen was first consumed in various chemical reactions in the oceans, primarily with iron. Evidence is found in older rocks that contain massive banded iron formations, apparently laid down as this iron and oxygen first combined. Most present-day iron ore lies in these deposits. It was assumed oxygen released from cyanobacteria resulted in the chemical reactions that created rust, but it appears the iron formations were caused by anoxygenic, phototrophic, iron-oxidizing bacteria, which does not require oxygen. Consequences of Oxidation The Great Oxidation Event had a profound impact on the planet, altering the climate, the geology, and the diversity of life. As oxygen accumulated, it oxidized atmospheric methane, a powerful greenhouse gas, into carbon dioxide and water. 
This weakened the greenhouse effect and cooled the planet, leading to a series of ice ages known as the Huronian glaciation. This period of cooling occurred between 2.45 and 2.22 billion years ago. However, the rise of oxygen also brought new opportunities for life to thrive. With more oxygen in the atmosphere, organisms could access new sources of energy, leading to a diversification of life and changes in the nature of chemical interactions between rocks, sand, clay, and other geological substrates and the Earth's air, oceans, and surface waters. One of the most significant changes that occurred as a result of the Great Oxidation event was the evolution of mitochondria, which gave organisms the energy to exploit new, more complex morphologies and interact in increasingly complex ecosystems. These new forms of life did not appear until the late Proterozoic and Cambrian periods. Lastly, the Great Oxidation event was a turning point in Earth's history, shaping the planet's climate, geology, and biodiversity in profound ways. Origin of Eukaryotes The origin of eukaryotes is a mystery that has puzzled scientists for centuries. However, it is closely related to the Great Oxidation event, which occurred around 2.4 billion years ago. It is believed that a specific event, known as the Lomagundi Getuli event, played a significant role in the emergence of eukaryotes. Around 2.3 billion years ago, there was a sudden increase in oxygen content, followed by a drop around 2.1 billion years ago. This event, also known as the Getulian period, is thought to have led to the evolution of multicellular organisms, which are now extinct. This false start of multicellular life, known as the Franzvillian biota, was found in Gabon and went extinct when the Lomagundi Getuli event ended. The Lomagundi Getuli event has been found globally, and it is believed that eukaryotes first evolved during this time. The event is also linked to the emergence of eukaryotic sex, which involves cell-to-cell -cell fusions, cytoskeleton-mediated chromosome movements, and the emergence of the nuclear membrane. Thus, the evolution of eukaryotic sex and eukaryogenesis were likely inseparable processes that evolved to facilitate DNA repair. Plus, understanding this critical juncture in the planet's history can offer valuable insights into how life evolves and adapts to changing environments. The Great Oxidation event also had a profound impact on the environment, leading to the formation of a proactive ozone layer and new minerals. The event truly changed the world forever, and it is important to continue to study and understand it. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time to learn about the Great Oxidation event. We hope you found this exploration of this key moment in Earth's history to be both informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our latest content. We'll be continuing to explore the wonders of the natural world and the secrets of the past, so don't miss out.